What is going on, people? Rob Valorant. I came across this video. Um, you know, some people, they, some people don't have high expectations for themselves. You know, they just, they just want a job and go home and low paying job and go home and go to sleep you know some people are just satisfied with that now if you're working towards something that's different but this guy has been at Burger King for 27 years and never missed a day it says it right here my reward that my job got me for 27 years never missed a day of work T.Y. thank you this is so low average. It's so, uh, 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 uh. and you know they don't pay like that. You know they don't pay like, and you know they don't give out uh, raises and shit. So it's just. So recently, it, listen to this. Viral where this man was celebrating his 27th year of working for Burger King. He never missed a shift in almost three decades. That is crazy, isn't it? He ain't never missed a shift in three decades. Burger King, twi uh, man. And this was the thanks they gave him, this little goodie bag. He says, I'm so thankful, loyalty pays off. My reward that my job got me for 27 years, never miss a day of work, thank you. Hey, I just want you guys to know that on all these days where it's hard to keep employees and not feeling appreciated, uh, I've been, I've worked here for 27 years. I've never missed not one day of work, never called out. And um, I want you to know that we're, uh, it's good to feel appreciated. This is what I got for. So this man really said it's good to feel appreciated. Appreciate a glass half full type of guy. Yeah, definitely. Very definitely a glass half full. It's just, you know, you... Bro, damn, nigga, like you couldn't do anything else. 27 years. Damn. Oh my God. This ain't the 50s or 60s no more. Where you, go, you, where you have to be loyal to a job. Kick rocks. In that dumbass job. Damn, you could have did anything else. Really? 27 years at Burger King? What the fuck is wrong with you? Jesus. Very low expectations. Uh, I have a, a bag, a nice bag. And a nice bag. Um, a movie ticket. A movie ticket. Thank you very much. No one's even going to the movie. Wipe your ass with that movie ticket. Movies these days, unless they're watching that gay tension in Top Gun. Got a bag of Reese's. A bag of Reese's. That's like two dollars. We a movie ticket that's ten dollars. So we already at twelve. Um, this is very nice. They got you a cup. From Starbucks. Thank you guys. And, it uh, it's like a lanyard. I got gotcha. you. You already got one. Why you need another one? Oh Lord. Oh man, it's almost like they tried to. Your twenty-seven years. They probably tried to uh, pay twenty-seven dollars. Yeah, that's so crazy. Two pins. Two pins. Uh, that that is funny. That is fucking hilarious. They gave you two pins, Reese's, a cup with nothing in it, a ticket, not to take your date on, but to take you on. Mm. And two pins. What what else they give you, brother? Keychains. Oh, bitch, I thought that was chapstick to wipe your black ass lips. <laughs> I was getting ready to say. 
They couldn't have even splurged on a better candy than Lifesavers. That shit was out in like the 1800s. Get your prehistoric candy the fuck up out of here and give this man a real thank you. Altogether, that goodie bag probably cost the company $27. Okay, $27. I take it back. They pulled up on Dollar Tree and got him that candy. That was probably like three bucks. They probably got the movie passed through a dollars And then everything else was really just promotional material for the company that this Burger King is contracted under. Honestly, the whole thing makes me sick. I mean, you don't see many people who have worked at Burger King of all places for 27 years. He's never missed a shift. You know, they could have really used this opportunity for some good promotion while also doing something good for one of their most valued employees. That shit said American hero on the top of the fucking... Would you look at this shit? American hero. Grateful. So thank you. The keep 7-7... Seven, seven, Man, their most valued employees. And this man is such a stand up guy that he's still looking on the bright side and saying thank you. I would have given them one of these and walked out that day. But well, he's, he, like you said before, he's a cup half full ass nigga. You know, you know, some of these some of these niggas, you know, don't you know, they just want to, uh, you know, just just happy to be alive ass niggas, you know. But every once in a while, guys, the internet does get something right. And so many people all over the world came to this man's rescue. First, let me show you the response from the people who gave him that goodie bag. The company said, quote, this recognition of Mr. Ford by another employee captures the essence of our culture of appreciation. Man, get the fuck out of here. And inclusion and reflects the best of our company, fuck our people. Mr. Ford is a valued associate and member Fuck of an yo. honored group of employees that have worked for us for many years. Well, thanks for announcing to the world that you're a sack of shit corporation. Yeah, good job. Good job, Burger King. Good job. I, I, I don't understand how somebody be loyal to y'all motherfuckers. Who couldn't give a damn about their... I don't say how people be loyal to a company, period. They definitely ain't loyal to your ass. When, when the time gets hard, they're gonna let your ass go. Without even thinking about it. Their employees. They're like, oh yeah, that's just running the mill around here. That's his big I think you shouldn't have a job over two years, if you ask me. Big old thank you. The company also told today Ford got that gift because he is an exemplary employee. One of Ford's daughters, Serena, created a GoFundMe account for him. On it, she describes how her single dad worked hard to support her and her siblings. She writes, in no way are we asking for money or is he expecting any money. But if anyone feels like blessing him, he would love to visit his grandchildren. I mean, I don't see why not. After 27 years, this man deserves a vacation. And I've seen people use GoFundMe for way stupid as shit. So I'm glad he was able to get this off. I'm pretty sure he got like $20,000 in donations, which is definitely some life changing money for a lot of people in this country. Less than a week later, more than $170,000 oh, was raised. Even That's good. A $5,000 donation from actor David Spade. Good shit, David Spade. David Spade always <laughs> keeps it so real, man. Okay, I thought he only got 20000 The man got 170000 That's more than a lot of people that's in this country. talking about. I mean, I would have to imagine that's at least like five years salary for him. So that is definitely some life. Five years? Like 50. Changing money. For once the internet gets something right. Blown away by the attention, posted a thank you video. Well, I love y'all. Oh my I gosh, starting now. Before I start crying, <sighs> this really means so much to me. Oh, and oh. here he is, all the way from Las Vegas, missing a day of work for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, yes, sir. Good morning. It's Kevin, I think a lot of folks, you know, they were they were just astonished when they when they heard that you had not missed a shift <laughs> in 27 years. But I don't think that people were as astonished by that, by that weak ass fucking goodie bag. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. very fucking true. I didn't even peep that. That's that's what made them start giving money is that bitch ass goodie bag that the company gave him for 27 years. That I bet you he didn't had no benefits neither. That's what they were shocked by. I mean, I've gotten better goodie bags at an eight-year-old's birthday party. At that, least I might get like a Spider-Man ring on the cupcake. I'm telling you, get better goods, get better goods than that. Uh, fucking with hoes. Damn. I don't know. Maybe I'm a robot. I don't know how I do Young Kawhi Leonard. It's just a uh, something you know. You just work. 
and uh, you gotta feed these kids and put them through school. So I just that's another thing I'm gonna talk about. Listen, y'all. If you have a job at Burger King, you do not need to be having kids. I need for you to do the math on all this shit. How much is Pampers? How much is baby food? How much is a stroller? How much is baby clothes? Because you know he going to grow all the time. Baby shoes. How much is it going to cost for him to go to school? You need to figure out these numbers before you start having kids when you broke because inflation is is a killer right now gas prices is a killer right now you can no longer be a glass has full ass nigga like this nigga and expect to win in life okay he shouldn't have had a damn kid working at Burger King because no actually he, he, actually um his his era yes he should yes he should it's it's okay in his era but right now you motherfuckers better not be having no kids working at burger king it will murder your fucking pockets you will have nothing never even thought of missing cuz rent is going up that's some of the realest shit someone will ever say. Once your responsibility isn't just yourself, your whole life changes. And I think a lot of people would be surprised how much motivation comes out of that. And you really find the will to do some crazy shit like this guy working at Burger King for the last 27 years. But you were happy with the present that you got. You weren't looking for recognition or anything more. I loved it. I just, you know, I... I... And then I said, uh, let's do a, a little shout out video for yeah. it and stuff. And I was just grateful to have it. I'm still grateful. I got that cup in my room. <laughs> so I mean, there is not one bit of entitlement in this man's body. Very true. I can respect that, but I can't respect bro. 27 years, bro. I, I, I need for you to. Oh, Jesus, 27 years. This is sad. Damn, man, why has it gotta be us? Damn, nigga, can't you? Damn. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Let, hold on, let, uh, let, me, let me just watch a little bit more. Hold on. And it's actually refreshing to see someone like this man in this day and age, with so many people all over the country feel so entitled and they haven't done shit. Kevin, why do you think your story like it resonated with so many people i think it's just have to do with the fact that um people love to see somebody grateful for something that's true and happy for the little things which i am i i've been through a lot everybody's been through a lot i look toward the smaller things in life and you know i'm grateful for everything i'm grateful for every day i wake up that i could go to work that i could be a good citizen be a good american and just you know do my part Man, this guy is speaking absolute gems. He, out of all people, could have a piss poor attitude. This man has been dealing with fast food Karens for the last 30 years. <laughs> His mind is truly an enigma of solitude at this point. You cannot shake him. That boy's enlightened. Great example for the world, but also for your kids and grandkids who, by the way, are here. One of the reasons why that it, um, your, your daughter thought they could get a couple dollars there coming in was for a reunion, and so you knew they were coming, but this is the first time you've yeah, seen them here. Hi, we've got your daughter Serena and your granddaughter Charlotte and Carolyn and your grandson Javon. Oh, hey, Javon. What a beautiful I video, guys. You guys so long. Uh, hey, Hi. Hey. Hi. hey. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, man, that's so good. That's so good. Oh man, that's so good. But it's so sad at the same time. As a community, we're doing better. But uh, I need for us to do a whole lot better than this. All right. I think it's good to have a little entitlement. All right, you are entitled to more people you deserve more
That means you have to get off your ass and go get it. You have to work for it. You need to learn more. You need to acquire skills or get a trade because Burger King will fuck you in the ass for 27 years. I bet you he didn't get not one fucking raise. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.